Well, thank you everyone for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the legal question Pellinger linked list. Previously, I have talked about the Pellinger um, string and the Pellinger integer. So today we are going to start the Pellinger linked list. So the, here I have given example. If it is 1, 2, you return false. 1, 2, 2, 1, you return true. And this is important that they could you do it in all n time and all one space. So we're trying to achieve it in this way. And for test the linked list is a parameter. I think we are going to split the linked list. Then I'm going to reverse it. For reverse linked list, I already explained on reverse linked list. I won't explain in here again. So you could go find the video reverse link the list and it just move a pointer so once you will get the second half and then you are reversed so the, the left thing just easy just iterate it so just write the uh, first write the skeleton code so actually I will get the two need a, I'm going to split yeah I'm going to split this head to two. So list load. I have the first load. I don't don't. Uh, but I only need a literally through the half. But the list P two we are designed. I only need a half. Like I said, I'm going to reverse. Reverse the second half. I don't have the second half. I use this list load to get the second half. So I call I will call a function right right half and this is my head. So once I get this one, I'm going to y loop because I only loop flow the y and second half if this one not equal to now. And I'm going to compare compare if P one dot y not equal to P two dot y. If that not equal, then one not a parent, so I just return false, and then otherwise just move um, P e to P one dot next. So let's return P two equal to P two dot next. And once you loop everything, you didn't find it, you just return true. So at the moment, uh, so it is this function. Yes. Then left the two function, I need to finish it. One is to get the half of the head. You will return list load. And you will receive a list load. No. You will receive this load, the head, and then you return the second half. And then another one is the recursive. Recursive, you already, I already explained it. I just copy paste in here. So this one already and explained in here. It is a recursive loop. So you actually loop to the end. Every time you loop, you say reverse this one and give me the head. And if you are reach the end, then you return. You reverse. So this is a current. You didn't, and you didn't reverse the head. This one in, instead is the reverse the head. So the head the, the next the next we point it itself. If it is the last law, the head to the next we are pointed to the now. So that is the reverse. Um now we task is going to get the um right half. Um, the main thing is get the right half. So let's copy something over there. So I will set up a slow point and a fast pointer. And then we all start with the head. And the, but the slow point move one away, fast point move two nodes away. So every time when you go into here, so once you find the and either you find the fast dot next equal to no or fast dot next dot next equal to no, just you break it. 
So this one B2. So you for this one, you just will stop that in here action. It via and return through and for for this case, it also so you return slow to the left. I don't think this will going to happen. And then you're going to do as uh, uh, all the numbers saying you loop flu and then you return this one. And um, because the middle size you don't need to compare if you have an order one. So the code is like this one you define. First, you check if head equal to now. Then just return now. And otherwise, then just compare. You have a list load. You have a slow and uh, equal to head. But then you also have a fast also start with the head. And then you have a while loop until the bridge. Fast to the next equal to not equal to now and uh, faster dot the next dot the next not equal to now then you just uh, uh, update your slow pointer slow equal to slow dot the next and fast uh, update fast equal to fast dot the next dot the next okay afterwards you just return slow dot the return slow dot the next so actually this diagram is known so once you first in here you first time you will come in s slow we are move to s you see move to slow dot the next because the faster dot the next dot the next won't be known it pointed to here so the faster we are move to here and the second time once moved once then you're going to compare faster dot the legs faster dot the legs has value yes but the faster the faster is don't have a value so you just return slow dot the legs and here it is um, for this scenario so start with here slow move yes slow move and the faster move slow move to here faster we are moving to here then you keep checking if a faster dot legs equal to now yes so it stop so you just return this one so this uh, cover um, both scenarios so all the number and the even number let's look up the again so i come in have the head i go into split the head it is this code and the reverse it is in here i'm going to reverse our covered in here and once you get this one so this is straightforward i don't think it explain the trigger part is this slow and fast then you just submit and see if i have a syntax issue yeah finish the next submit if i can meet all the condition it also accepted and thank you for watching hope this helped